Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. This is episode 46. I'm talking to you right now um, from my balcony uh, in Fresno, California. It's a nice night. Wife is inside unwinding. We just got back from the concert. Uh, So let me step out here. So I wanted to make sure I get this podcast in. Uh, We had a, a pretty good day. I'll tell you, it started out like um, we left the house like 3 o'clock in the morning. So, um, uh, left at, no, we got up at 3. We were out the door by 4 a.m. We got to the airport by 5. We got to the gate by 5.30 and started boarding pretty much right away. Um, And then we had to fly from uh, Charlotte to Dallas to Dallas yep I'm overlooking I told you guys I'm on the balcony so you might might hear a little noise but it's cool and and do a little different uh, touch (coughs) but anyway um, yeah we had to connect in Dallas Uh, it was so crazy because I was so tired I didn't think I could drive but I did the night before I left um, I was I was under the weather man I just didn't feel good Angel gave me um some alcohol, I was going to say alcoholic, <laughs> alcoholic plus cold, she gave me some alcohol, so some plus cold, um, I didn't want to take anything, but I thought we had a later flight, and I drank that, and I looked at my itinerary, and it said, I bought it at 5.30 in the morning, I'm over an hour away from the airport, well, not really, I'm about an hour away, by the time I, you know, park the car, jump on the shuttle, and get, you know, get to the airport, it's about an hour, um, and then what's crazy is that, you know, it's dark and they're doing so much road work that, you know, while I was driving, uh, we start seeing detour signs. So we had to detour and that always throws me off because I'm like, damn, you know, because it puts you onto other highways. I really don't know my way. I'm just not that, that type of driver, man. I get lost really easy. Thank God for GPS, man. I don't know how we did it before. I really don't. Holy shit. Um, but, uh. Yeah, sleeping, it was, um, I crashed. Man, I don't usually fall asleep. So I bring my books and I bring my magazines. And what's so crazy is that um, I usually read like a paragraph, my eyes closed, I put the magazine down, I nap, I wake up, I drink a little water, I read a little bit of magazine, my eyes closed, I put it down, I take a nap. That's usually my entire trip. This time I picked up the magazine it's like I couldn't even get a sentence in. I ended up uh, putting it away, and I slept basically until they came by offering, for, you know, offering uh, if you want drinks. Of course, I didn't want anything. I just wanted to uh, go back to sleep, but they did wake me up. Um, and then we landed in Dallas, and we had to, you know, shoot over to another terminal. That's always a pain because we only got 30 minutes, and now you got to take one of those skylines or sky trains, whatever they call them, uh, to go to your next terminal, and then. Uh, that one took us to uh, Fresno, so it, it was cool. When we when we landed, um, we had our bags the whole time. We never check our bags. We usually carry it on, or we'll check it at the gate, so that way it doesn't go through that whole uh, baggage claim. Well, it does at the end, you know. But when we're coming to an event, we don't really like to check the bags like that because God forbid if the bags get lost, and they do sometimes, uh, that's where um, Andrew has an outfit. So. We never want to uh, risk that, especially if there's a connecting flight. If it's direct, we can usually do it. But uh, if it's a connecting flight, uh, we prefer not to, you know? At least I her stuff. Um, when we landed, we decided to, uh, <coughs> we didn't know what they had in the hotel. We didn't know what they had around the area. And we were tired, so we saw a little restaurant in the airport. And since we already had our bags, we figured we'd just go in there and, uh, and eat a little something. Just regular standard. Burger and fries. That's all I eat when I'm on the road. Burger and fries. You can't really go wrong. 
You start getting, start trying to experiment or eating shit that you're not used to eating, man. Next thing you know, man, your, your stomach's cramped up and you're looking at an eight-hour flight, man. So you want to always kind of keep it, uh, you know, keep shit normal. Don't try to get, don't try to get crazy. I can't do like burritos. I gotta go easy on coffee. There's a lot of things I cannot do. I just have one of those stomachs, but. Uh, then when we finished eating, we're gonna head to the shuttle. We ran into Trinia and her crew. Uh, Trinia has always been real cool with us. Uh, we got to chit chat for a little while, hung out, um, and got to the airport together. I mean, got to the hotel together. Um, when we got to the hotel, we kind of chilled out, didn't do much. Um, just uh, went and did sound check, and then came back and uh, started to get ready for showtime. Headed back to the venue. Uh, we ate a little something there. They had some food for us. We ate a little something. Uh, there too, you don't want to eat a lot, especially the girls. I told them don't go crazy, so they don't cramp up. We did the show and we rocked the house. It was a great crowd, man. Um, really good crowd. A sound was a little bit funny. Um, well, where I was standing, the the it seemed like there was a lot of bass in the monitors. Once that happens after sound check. I don't like to mess with it, especially when it comes to anything in the monitors. You know, I start messing with that and it could throw the artists off. So I rather, if I think it's doable, then I'll just leave it alone and just hopefully they'll pull through. It's usually Angel. Angel's doing all the leads. So she got it. She has no problem. Um, I had changed the show tape. <coughs> she wanted to add another song on one of the other ballads. And we used to do it before, but we, uh, we did some changes. She wanted to change this wasn't even my idea. I like to stick to the original plan. All right, so the problem is, and, we, and we've had this thing for a few months now, she wanted to change it, and uh, but she never um, she never listened to the show tape. She's thinking that it's basically the same as the last one, just with this extra song. I told her no. I said, it's, you know, it's different. But we have to adjust the timing and stuff. So she never listened to it. So, of course, when... Uh, the show tape started, she she was off a little bit, you know, she was, uh, she felt, I don't think anybody else noticed though, but uh, it was still a good show, crowd went bananas, so uh, did a lot of pictures and autographs from behind, us, behind the, the curtain, we're not allowed in these concerts to go out to the crowd, uh, they saved that, excuse me, just for select people that they let uh, backstage, so, but we did the show and then we got back and we met up with my boy Mario Pacheco, uh, shout out to Mario, his wife, um, Lucia. And um, he is the creator of 808 Beats, uh, which is the wine um, that he creates, freestyle inspired. Um, I'm helping him out on that uh, with just some of the marketing ideas. And um, But uh, he brought some bottles. Uh, Angel's on the, on, the, on the label, so you guys definitely need to check that out. Um, he's going to have... The website out soon. I believe it's 808, 808wines.com or wine808beats.com. Not sure, but you know what? Uh, you can always message me on Facebook and I will give you the correct address. But it's going to be something like that. Um, or you can just go on Facebook and look for uh, 808 Beats. I think there's another, uh, I think he has another account called Taste the Base. So definitely check those out. I think you'll like the wine. I think he, the bottles are going for like 25 bucks. And um, it's a pretty high-end uh, quality wine. I'm not a big wine drinker. And I actually enjoyed it. I drank, I think, two glasses. And and I was like, okay, all right. This is this is new. This is something new. Um, uh, Trinia came by. She, uh, we, Cynthia was there. She tried it. I believe she liked it. We, I didn't see her. She was over by the bar. Angel brought her a glass. <coughs> uh, Trinia had a couple of glasses. She liked it. She kept she kept propping it, and she even gave us a a drop. So um, um, yeah, so she she liked it. She enjoyed it, and this is what we're looking for, you know. And this is this is what I was telling you guys before: is here's somebody who has a passion for wine and a passion for freestyle, and he merged the two. This is what I'm saying. This is I mean, more people should be doing this. This is you know. I help them out on certain areas, but you know what? There, there's so many different things that you guys can come up with, man. You know, come up with foods, come up with, uh, you know, other kind of liquors, come up with more clothing lines, come up with a sneak, sneaker line, you know, uh, DJ equipment, 
you know, um, so there's a lot of stuff that people can do. You just got to get creative um, and, uh, uh, and just, you know, give it a shot, you know. But uh, so listen, I'm going to cut this one short, guys. Uh, I'm really, really beat, man. It's about 11.30 my time. So what's that, 11.30, 12.34, about 2.30, right? 2.30 uh, East Coast time. And I'm a baby. I don't stay up that late, man. So. Um, but again, I just wanted to reach out to you guys, um, and uh, I didn't want to miss out for tonight. I thought I was. My phone is like at 10%. I'm actually doing this right off my phone. Um, like I said, I created this podcast so that way I could take it on the road. So if I did not figure this out now, if I did not do this podcast, then I would have basically been defeating my whole purpose of doing this thing. So I appreciate you. I'm just a little tired. I don't think I need to talk that long um i just want to kind of just reach out to you guys tell you thank you very much for all your support um uh you know be safe tonight if you guys are out um and enjoy the rest of your weekend okay so and until tomorrow night good night freestyle before i lay me down to sleep i pray to hear a freestyle beat For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.